Hey guys, so yesterday um, I had some challenges with my iPhone and I learned a neat little trick in order to free up some storage because I'd been using Facebook Live and I'd been having lots of videos and I'd been going in and dropping my videos out and dropping my, my photos out of there and I wasn't really freeing up much space. So here's what I learned. I learned you can actually go in and you can remove, you can delete apps that are storing space and taking up your internal storage without actually losing anything. So I'll show you how to do it. So if you go onto your iPhone and you go to your settings just here, you're going to come into this main screen here. If you scroll down, you're going to see general. So you go to general. And if you scroll down again, you're going to see you've got storage and iCloud usage just here. Now, if you look in here, right now I've got used about 4.8 gigs and I've got available 7.5. So if I go into my manage storage, what it's going to do is it's going to bring up a list of all the different areas that are using my internal storage. So let's say um, yesterday my Facebook, for example, was using about four and a half gigs. So what I was able to do was I was able to go into Facebook and you see it says delete app. Well, I was worried I didn't want to do this because I didn't want to lose Facebook. But what you can actually do is you can go ahead and you can delete the app. And then you can immediately go into your storage, as go back into, sorry, your iStore, so your app store. It's stored on the cloud and you can reinstall it, log back into Facebook, and immediately you have freed up all of that space. So... All it does really is basically cache the data that's stored on your phone, but you still have everything stored on the Facebook server, so you don't lose anything. So that's one tip, and you can go through all your different apps. If I go back, you'll see I've got, you know, Papa John's here that's using some megabytes. Maybe I don't need that anymore, and this is all in order. So you can go through here, and you can uninstall things that you really don't need anymore, and that will free up some space. The other thing you can do as well is if you go into your photo library, you can see what the storage is here. Well, if you go back all the way back to your main screen, so we'll use the home button because it's the easiest way to get there, you can go to your camera and you can go to your pictures. And if you look at all photos, you should have the ability to go into albums. And under albums, you see there's recently deleted. So let me show you something. If I go into my, let's just go into a selfie and we will just delete. Um, there's nothing I can delete there. Let's go into a screenshot. Uh, we'll delete this. Okay, so we'll go ahead and delete it. So I've deleted that photo. So if I go back to my camera, if I go back into all my photos, back into my albums, you'll now see in my recently deleted here, there's one. So if I open this up, I have the option to hit select. I can hit select, and I can either recover it, which means I can restore it back to my phone, or I can delete it. Now, if I delete it, it's going to be gone completely. So when you delete something the first time, it'll actually go into this album and sit there. So you might have thought you've deleted a bunch of videos and photos and haven't freed up any room. That's because you need to go into here to the recently deleted and actually clear that out too. So you'll see I can now delete that photo and it's gone forever. So I hope that helps some of you guys free up some space on your iPhone. And um, it certainly did help me. And then if you want to subscribe to my channel, I'd encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And um, a lot of what I do is about consciousness, some poetry, some motivational videos, and some things about addiction and recovery. 
Um, so if any of that appeals to you, I encourage you to do subscribe to the channel. And again, I hope this video was helpful to you and was able to walk you through a couple of ways how to free up some extra space on your iPhone. And this will work on any iPhone device. It will be exactly the same way. This happens to be an iPhone 5, but if you have an older version, um, it's basically anyone using the iOS software. So it will work on your tablets as well. All right, guys, thanks so much and have a beautiful evening.